Hi, I'm, I'm Rob Lindman and I own two Kias. What I love about Kia is a nice balance because you get it all at a good price. And it also has that 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty, which to me is very important. I don't see any of the for-profit developers um, providing for a mixed community. So poor white people and black people are moving out to the county when the hill is actually their home. I think there's a huge threat with that. Um, I think that our city's made a mistake in targeting a certain demographic. Um, with the condo boom, they're at a certain price right now that only a certain demographic can afford. They're gonna run the low-income people out of here. They're gonna put people with money and jobs in here, you know. It all began here in 1912, when Harry Brown and J.C. Haley founded the Brown and Haley Candy Company. Every piece of Roca Butter Crunch is still made here in Brown and Haley's historic factory. After cooling in tunnels, the slab is cut into ribbons and then chopped with a candy guillotine into its distinctive shape. Now the product takes a ride to the wrappers. like my O's, by the 16 like my flows, by the QP just a blow, and I'm talking about my dro, 500 is the low, tell them meet me at the stove, it's 900 cause I don't know them, ayy, <laughs> it's just hustler mathematics, crazy that I know the plug and y'all wish you had them, y'all wouldn't know what to do with them, even if you had them, get caught with a half a brick, y'all will probably rat them, snitches, telling those some G's riches. Surfing in, a, in the six mil wetsuits and gloves and booties, it's like you just put on 30 pounds. <laughs> it's like your turns are just a little bit off and, you, and it's kind of like it takes you a little while to get adjusted. It's pretty spooky up here in Washington like uh, with it being just really foggy and it just seems really sharky out there when you're paddling out. For some reason it just has that look. These huge mountains just dipping into the ocean with all kinds of rocks and stuff and uh, Sometimes you'll hear fog horns going off in the background from a nearby harbor, and it's just, uh, I found myself having to go, you know, hearing the Jaws music in my head out there and uh, just having to uh, calm myself. Well, I'm really excited and, and proud to be part of this project as it's uh, directly helping to benefit uh, Local 27, our fire department union's uh, Seattle's bravest charity. Uh, this charity was created in March of 1995 following the unfortunate deaths of four Seattle firefighters in the uh, Pang Arson Warehouse fire. Hey friends, I'm Paulo Campbell, Entertainment and Random Fun Committee Chair for the Student Activities Board here at UW Tacoma. In 1990, UWT was born. In 1991, there was a graduating class of four students. In 97, we moved right here. These people just get so wrapped up in it, they're going to seminars and classes. Very busy, 24 seven while I'm here, except when I'm asleep, the few hours I do sleep. all been a challenge because we're working under a limited time. I don't need love. I'm Kathy Kading. I'm out here at beautiful Crystal Mountain, Washington today. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to Evo and Crystal Mountain. Thank you so much for your support with this day. Uh, thank you to She Jumps and let's get the girls out. Alyssa, the girls got out today. The girls got out. We did a ski lesson together. It was so much fun. We shredded the moguls. We shredded the moguls. is key to this and you have a right to know of what you're eating 
And even if this doesn't win, there needs to be a continued grassroots movement in getting this passed. First, I came as an exchange student through a high school program. After I graduated from there, I just decided to continue in America, and I went through several different colleges in the area. The classroom size in Seattle, it's like 300 students. Over here, it's about 30 students, so you have better communication with your instructor. I think my favorite was being... several different caterers and none of them had all the provided all the services that Brown's Catering did and that was really important for us. With the stress of planning a wedding, it's just nice to know that they're going to provide everything we need for her. You got to give her all you have. You got to give her all the love her heart will stand. You got to buy her clothes. You got to warm her soul. You got to kiss her girl. Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Danner and welcome to Northwest Bride TV, your local resource for planning the perfect Northwest wedding. With the vast number of wedding professionals available and amount of decisions that need to be made, planning your wedding can oftentimes be stressful, overwhelming, and exhausting, but it doesn't have to be. In this inspiring web series led by elite wedding planners Travis McBurney and Jesse Bricks of True Colors Events, we follow John... I'm Sharon Sneffen. I own Sneffen's Catering. We've been in business 35 years. Uh, I am an off-premise caterer, which means we cook everything or prepare everything in our kitchens and take it to the site. It's like taking the restaurant to the party. That's what we do. Get an altitude adjustment exploring Crystal Mountain and Mount Rainier National Park. Nestled in a glacier-carved valley next to Mount Rainier, surrounded by lush forests, snow-capped peaks, and alpine meadows, you will find Crystal Mountain Resort. A nationally ranked ski area, Crystal Mountain is best known for its expansive terrain and deep coastal snowpack. During the summer, experience spectacular scenery from the Mount Rainier Gondola as you climb 2,500 vertical feet along evergreen forests and meadows of wildflowers. The view from the top of the gondola of neighboring Mount Rainier will take your breath away. From here, you can also see five other volcanoes. Mount Adams, Mount Hood, and Mount St. Helens to the south, and Mount Baker and Glacier Peak to the north. 